We're told they discussed the stimulus and the looming government shutdown. No progress on either announced. As always, Democrats and Republicans are blaming each other, and again, the clock is ticking. A new study shows 12 million Americans could lose unemployment insurance by the end of the year. The lack of help from the government evident everywhere. This is what the line for the food bank in Fort Worth looks like. It has looked like this for days. Each car, an American who needs help putting food on the table. Without a bill, lines could even get longer. CNBC's Elon Moy now. Elon, it's all talk, always all talk. Millions who did nothing wrong, out of a job because of the pandemic, can't pay their bills and feed their families, and Washington just talks and blames. Well, that's right, Chef. Congress has missed deadline after deadline to get help to these struggling workers. And now many of them are worried that they're reaching the end of the line. Having zero income and zero prospective income is uh, terrifying during a pandemic when you have no idea when you're going to work again. Now, two critical federal programs are set to expire at the end of the year. One provides an extra 13 weeks of jobless benefits. The other one pays unemployment aid to people who don't normally qualify for it. Together, those programs cover roughly 12 million workers. You're causing real pain, and that pain spreads like a virus. So, um, you know, when a person can't uh, pay their rent, then that pain spreads to the landlord. When they get foreclosed on, that pain spreads to the neighborhood. And on December 31st, the federal moratorium on evicting renters will end as well, putting as many as 14 million households in danger of getting kicked out. Meanwhile, state and local governments say they need help from Uncle Sam, too. Their budgets have been blown up by the pandemic, forcing them to cut public services and lay off public workers. NBC reports that the New York subway system alone is considering slashing as many as 9,400 positions. So that is why workers like Grant McDonald are trying to mobilize to make their voices heard on Capitol Hill. I am most surprised that we have to beg this hard for relief from a government that we fund, that empathy is not something that is comes naturally to a lot of our elected leadership. Shep, all that he and the millions of others can hope is that someone will listen. Elon, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.